you know, it's only, well, practically April, because April 1st yes. is a couple it's days away up. now. But that means that Easter is also yes. coming up uh, mm -hmm. this coming Sunday, actually. Right. And we were, I was just telling you, I was actually texting with my future in laws. Okay, who's bringing what for the Easter feast? Um, and you have some great ideas here for yes, people. Absolutely. This is Jen Bear, by the way. Yes, yeah. Jen Bear. <laughs> she needs no introduction. <laughs> Come on. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and actually, when it's really hot out, a crock pot slow cooker is a great way to cook yes. because you don't have to turn on your oven. Yes. yes. So, yeah. Go to the crock pot when it's hot. So I've got four different recipes to share with you today. Yeah, what's this? First, we're going to start <laughs> that looks with the sweetest. <laughs> this is a breakfast bread pudding, and it's a great combination of salty and sweet. So we've got some breakfast sausage in there, some Granny Smith apples, um, some Good. French bread. Yeah, I wasn't Did expecting the, the sausage Smith? too. Oh. All the sausage and the apples, and I'll so you got the sweet and the salty. Yeah. Yeah, it is really good, and you know it's a great way if you've got like a loaf of French bread or some bread that's about to go stale. This mm. is a great recipe to make, and mm -hmm. you can put it in your slow cooker when you go to bed and just wake up to breakfast. And as with so all easy. of your recipes, it's so easy. That's the thing; it's Very simple easy. to do. I uh, like easy. And what is this? You got some color from those uh, uh, tomatoes and peppers and that whatnot? Yes, this is a veggie breakfast casserole. Again, another really easy dish. Um, I just use English muffins for oh. the crust, mm -hmm. so to speak, and then you can throw in any kind of veggies you want. I use some mushrooms, some bell pepper some diced tomatoes and then a great use of fresh herbs as well you know those are all coming to bloom in the garden right now yeah so it seems like it's, if it's all together the kids would be more apt to eat it as well because it's all part of a, like a thing you cut a piece of it mm -hmm. my kids if they identify what it is then they're less <laughs> yeah. likely if to they eat see it. the veggies Wait a by second. themselves yeah but this is a great side dish you know if you're having ham mm -hmm. you've got you know something yeah. some vegetables in it which is sometimes hard to do at breakfast now, how long would something like this need to be in the slow cooker? Um, this can cook anywhere from four to six hours okay. in this casserole crock type uh, style. But mm -hmm. if you used a, a traditional slow cooker, you could cook it for up to eight hours. Oh, great. Yep. Okay, so we've got the that ham. ham. Oh, yes. It's Easter. The, the second that comes in the off. Right now. Oh, goodness. Smell that. Here's we need smell a vision. Ham. Yes. So a ham is so easy to make in the slow cooker, and I cut a couple pieces here if you want to have a taste. Shucks. I, if we must. Yeah, so if you're making ham on Easter, you want to buy it now so that it has time to thaw out before you're going to cook it. And a good rule of thumb is mm -hmm. one hour per pound in the slow cooker. And my secret is I just put a can of Sprite over top of Smart. the ham hmm. and then put the lid on and then just slow cook it again for an hour per pound. And the great That's thing fantastic. is you can just leave your ham in here and serve it right from there. So that yeah. just has Sprite on it right there? That's it. No brown really? sugar or anything no? like that. Wow. wow. And that's yeah. sweet, too. It I could have sworn that there was brown sugar yep. on there. Yep. And it kind of sits in the juices, and I saw you kind of pouring it over, and that's great. Yeah, Sit so for the day. Keep it nice and moist. Let's get to this uh, cute little thing that mm, we have okay. over here. What are we looking at? <laughs> this is the carrot cake oatmeal. Oh, man. Yeah, oh, so we yes. got tied into the carrot theme for Easter. Of course. And we can make this. I'll show you how easy it is. So we'll start with about a cup of silk. Steel cut oats. If here. you want to throw that in, okay, yeah. I can do this. Just throw it in there. Okay. And I've got about two cups of almond milk. Okay. Dan, Love you it. can throw in okay. about half of that bottle of water right yeah. there. Yeah. Team yeah. effort. Yes. <laughs> now we. There you go. Carrots. And we've got shredded carrots. You can shred these yourself, or you can cheat like I did and just buy the shredded carrots I at like the that. store. These yep. Guys. Just, yep. There's some seasoning. Spices. Great. A little brown sugar? A little brown sugar. Put the whole thing in. Why not? Okay. Perfect. Yes. All right. We've got about 10 seconds left, so we want to let people know that they can go to getcrock.com to find these amazing recipes here. Yes. Uh, Jen Bear, thank you so much. You always have such great ideas for all of us and for the food. I mean, we can't complain about getting to try this stuff. All right. <laughs> let us know thank how it you. is. Back after this. Hope you're prepared for Easter. Coming up. <laughs>